Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, the RC 211V, which has been a one of a kind of a motorcycle because uh, in the history of uh, motorcycles, there has never been a uh, motorcycle with a V5 engine and uh, been so successful uh, in the races. So I'm going to be talking about this bike and why it was so successful. I'm going to be talking about uh, the RC 211V and what made this bike uh, so much dominant uh, in the 2003 uh, MotoGP edition. Now the bike was developed by Honda's uh, Racing uh, Corporation uh, in 2002 and uh, it also debuted in 2002 to replace its uh, former uh, NSR 500 which was a two-stroke engine and uh, in 2002 when it debuted uh, it had a V5 engine yes a V5 engine in a motorcycle and uh, Honda was taking a big risk because there was never been a uh, V5 engine that has been uh, used in a MotoGP race edition and uh, they were taking a risk but uh, they say right uh, when you take a risk that's when you realize that it is a success or a loss so Honda has been success in this and uh, when it has that bike was used for five years and it won MotoGP for three years I'm gonna be telling you the success story of this bike and uh, what are the achievements of this bike uh, in 2002 there were a lot of uh, changes in the regulations and a lot of them were being uh, in terms of engine capacity and number of cylinders that uh, were able to use in a MotoGP race from 2002 after the regulations uh, the capacity was increased uh, to 990cc max and uh, the number of cylinders were three between three to six cylinders that's the reason why every manufacturer uh, switched to multiple cylinders like uh, four cylinders many of them uh, moved towards the inline four or the v4 but uh, honda was the only company which developed an engine of a v5 configuration which was a 75 and a half degree v5 and uh, this was one of a kind of engine because there was nothing like this engine ever been built in the history of motorcycles there were two other motorcycles as well with a v5 engine but uh, none of them were able to match the performance of this bike and uh, when it was launched in 2002 for the MotoGP, the bike was a, a liquid cooled four stroke four valves and uh, five cylinders a v5 engine with a DOHC setup the dry weight was 148 kg so if you see 148 kg with a power of 236 horsepower I mean 236 horsepower with 148 dry weight I mean that's that's more than what a Bugatti Chiron offers you in terms of power to weight ratio so you can't at all take a risk on this bike uh, now everyone finds uh, this name very strange because nobody names their bike like uh, RC211V right so I will tell you the reason why it was named as RC211V so RC tends to be the traditional name of Honda all those motorcycles which were uh, coming towards the MotoGP racers and 211V stands for uh, the 221 in the starting stands for the 21st century and 1 stands for the first bike in the 21st century and V stands for the V configurated engine that's the secret of this name RC211V now it had 236 horsepower only in the first year when it deputed in uh, 2002 and after that from 2003 to 2006 the power was increased to 252 horsepower and uh, the, though the weight remained the same of 148 kg so the power was increased though the weight was the same in terms of wheel dimensions uh, it is a pretty strange that uh, the front wheel was 17 inches and the back wheel was 16 and a half inches in the debuted year in 2002 but uh, they realized soon that it was not so stable but uh, it was actually stable but uh, they realized that if they put a 16 and a half inch wheel at the front also they could improve the stability a lot more and uh, because the front wheel dimension is a little bit high it produces lift at uh, higher uh, speed 
maybe that's the reason why they took uh, the front wheel dimension down by half inch and uh, for the rest of the four years they used 16 and a half inch uh, wheel at the front and at the back both in terms of fuel capacity of the motorcycle uh, in the first year 24 uh, liter tank and uh, after the first year it was reduced to 22 liters and the debut year it won Mot uh, MotoGP championship in 2002 uh, and uh, if you don't know the rider was Valentino Rossi who was racing for Honda in the initial years and uh, he was the one who made it possible to win MotoGP championship for Honda in 2002 and uh, if you have guessed it you were right and in 2003 also Valentino Rossi was the one who won MotoGP for uh, Honda uh, Racing Ch Corporation and not it was not like uh, you won by a one point or a two point the second best rider who came behind Valentino Rossi was 100 points behind him and uh, the Repsol Honda team was leading by 100 points when they won the 2002 MotoGP championship this bike didn't have any traction control in 2002 edition and uh, this bike was very raw and uh, there were no settings to do also on the motorcycle if you want to do any settings you have to go to the pit stop and do changes by a technician and get off to the racetrack and in 2003 the power was uh, increased by 16 and a half power and uh, the traction control was also added to this bike and in 2003 also Repsol Honda were able to change the title and defend their MotoGP title and won the MotoGP championship in 2003 as well and uh, Valentino Rossi was the rider behind the wheels uh, to win the championship for Honda. In 2004 Rossi was gone from Honda. Uh, after he went there was no rider in Honda's uh, racing team to replace the caliber of uh, Valentino Rossi at that time. They were not able to win but they were managed to get second place in the MotoGP of 2004th year. 2005 was the year in the past four years of their uh, MotoGP career they didn't win a title. And uh, 2005 was so depressing that uh, as a Honda fan though I, was, I didn't know anything about uh, MotoGP or anything but when I got to know recently, when I started to gain knowledge about motorcycles and everything, I felt very bad because from past three years, it, the bike was performing so well. And uh, in the fourth year, if you even it was not able to make it to the podium, so that was a pretty depressing thing for uh, Honda racing team as well. So it was a depressing moment for me also because being a Honda fan, I have to be depressed because. If your favorite team doesn't win, you feel bad, right? So that's the feeling which I have to uh, even now. But uh, history can't be changed, so we have to just accept it. And in 2006, the last year of this bike uh, participated in MotoGP Championship, and uh, Nicky Hayden uh, was the rider of I think he is from New Zealand. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So. He was from New Zealand and he was able to win a MotoGP title for Honda in 2006 with the same bike and uh, that was a pretty high thing because they didn't win a first place in both in 2004 and 2005 though they managed uh, second place in 2004 that was not at all a big thing uh, for uh, Honda because they won first uh, in the both uh, 2002 and 2003 so they were expecting first place in 2005 or 4 as well so in 2005 they didn't even make it to the podium and in 2006 they won again in uh, and came back to the podium as the winners to wrap up uh, at the end uh, this bike was uh, participated in 82 races and it won 48 races so if you calculate the percentage of win it was around 58.5 I think so 58.5% of success uh, is not at all bad in terms of world championship so this bike was not at all a common bike when you compare it to other bikes which were using common uh, inline 4 or the V4 engines and uh, 
this bike was able to manage to get three riders champions and four constructor championships now the reason why uh, the rc211 v is the most successful MotoGP bike is because of its performance uh, in 2003 season and uh, there are there were a total of 16 races in the MotoGP season of 2003 it won 15 of 16 races oh my I mean when, when this when I heard this I was actually speechless 15 out of 16 is not at all a common thing when you take it to that uh, world championship level and uh, it cannot uh, ignore that uh, this bike was special and it was none of a kind and it was so unique and uh, this bike managed to win 15 out of 16 races uh, I mean uh, Sorry for repeating it, but uh, it is actually a fact because um, I, I don't think any bike would have achieved this much of success in just one season or uh, in their whole career of that bike. Uh, year of 2003, it swept all the three titles of uh, the Riders Championship, the Repsol Honda Championship and also Honda's Construction Championship. I mean, you can think uh, by this only how dominant this bike was if it was in the right hands so Valentino Rossi was one of a uh, rider uh, who knew how to manage that bike and how to ride that bike and uh, I think he will be the most uh, appreciated MotoGP rider and uh, I don't think uh, he can be ignored when it comes to the best so that's all with this video guys so if you found this video helpful and if you have gained anything related to rc211 v motorbike uh, a subscribe will be well appreciated and i'll be bringing more uh, type of this uh, content so that's all with this video peace